Bad coach again with the Mauser 1915, I think it is. Uh, this was a German 308 back in World War I. Okay, they put the barrel on, 30 out 6. That was put on in Kansas, 1950s. I put that Whitman muzzle brake on. Oh, yeah. What is that? Five chamber? Yeah. Kind of overkill. Anyway, then uh, this has a Timmy trigger kind of a thing in there. I mean, this is an old one. Probably one of the original. I think it's a Timmy. It feels like about two and a half pound. Maybe three at most. Okay, first two rounds are going to be the hot rounds. So I'm going to aim low. Is this is set for uh, the 190s which we'll follow up with them. So the first two, well actually the first one might be a misfire. It has a indentation. It was shot out of a uh, my buddy's Springfield, 1903, and it had a light strike. It's an old bullet, so it might not fire. I'm just gonna try it. I think it's a 180 grain. Then a 178A max, and then uh, the rest of them would be, the next three would be a 390, or 190. Slow burning powder, okay. I'm gonna aim all a couple mils under, because I know this is gonna recoil, uh, hit high. So, here we are, same. I'm gonna go a couple mils under and see how this hits. It's gonna, I assume it's gonna hit high. All right. Well, there you go. It went off, and uh, just to the right and high, and I was aiming about how many mils over? Under. Okay, this is another one. I'm going to aim under. Another hot round. Uh, I did not see the hit. I did not see the hit. I think it was to the right again. I'm seeing some dust. I'm going to go two clicks to the left for the heck of it. And I cannot tell. Now these are going to be the 190 and they're going to drop so I'm going to aim about three or four clicks over. I still think I'm hitting high. Wow. So let's crank that down a little bit. About four or five clicks. We're we'll aiming right on it then. Low, yeah, to the right a little bit. Okay. One or two clicks to the left. And that one ran out of gas. So one was a hot load, one was a ran out of gas load. Okay, I'm gonna aim uh, right above the plate. just missed it to the right. That's still a tad to the one click to the left. Wow, that was a close one. I swear that might have nicked the plate. I'm seeing the plate in my scope. It went right there. So, the uh, hot one below and 190 on top. The hot one's going to be aiming a little low. But this is going to be the uh, 190. Let me see if I can duplicate that same shot. Yeah, let's act to the right. I'm going two clicks. Man, that was right there. Now, this is the hot round, last round. 178. It's going to be shooting a little bit higher, so. I'm going to aim at the bottom of the plate. And that's where I hit. Right there. Now I did move two clicks over it. I think I flinched just a little bit, but I was right there when I pulled that trigger. So the plate was here. Uh, I was aiming at the bottom and I hit right about where I was aiming. Well, there you are. That was a good shot. If it wasn't for me moving a little bit, I wiggled just a little bit. That was more of the hot round. Different powder. Okay. All right, that's it. Seven rounds down. And uh, not bad.
Uh, dead dinos on the ground, folks. Dead dinos. I assume I was left and right, yeah. I knew I was left and right. The last shot was to the left. Looks like I might even hit this far as over here. We'll see. And then I was hitting to the right up in here. Uh, I'm wondering if that's a hit. If it is, how'd I miss it? But I don't think that was a new one, anyway. All right. Oh my, what happened to Dino? Ah, uh, that was a serious hit on this guy. <laughs> so, I wonder what happened there. And, that could be a, a new pass-through. I have to uh, possibly repair him if that was a hit. Interesting. 